Why is our marriages compared to Kriyat Yamsuf? I mean, you know, a marriage is a bond. We're bringing people together and we're comparing it to something that's split. Isn't that a little bit odd? Wouldn't you look at marriage if I had to bring you some sort of a mashal, some sort of a paradigm, something to describe the bond of bringing two forces together and making it so tight and so perfect and so one. And yet it's always compared to the splitting of the sea. Hey, if I wanted to compare marriage to something, the last thing I would ever use, the last word would be splitting. It would be bonding. It would be reuniting. And yet... It's always Kriyat Yamsuf. It's always about the splitting of the sea. Isn't that like the worst example when you'd want to talk about marriage? And yet the Torah uses that as the great mashal for a husband and a wife coming together in the great holy matrimony of Boreolam. How do you understand this? And the answer is an incredible answer. And here's where our words begin tonight. The words of the Arizal HaKadosh writes the Arizal HaKadosh. People, they read that Gemara, Mesechet Sota, and they heard this concept that's called Zivug Sheni, and they get nervous. Uh-oh. Did I end up with the right one? Says the Arizal, you got it all wrong. Yes, I know what the Rashi says there. I'm tonight telling you what the Arizal writes. He says, do you know the way Hashem makes a Shiduch between husband and wife? He goes to the great hotel of souls, the Nishamot in heaven, and he takes a magnificent soul and he cracks the soul in half. He splits them, two halves of one whole. He takes these two halves, says the Arizal, and he sends them both down to earth. One half on one side of the world, the other half on the other side of town. Two halves of the same soul, sent down at different times in different places of the world. And now we play a game of hide-and-go-seek. They walk by each other. They have no idea. Sometimes they could have gone even to school on the same bus, on the city bus every day. One sitting in the back, the other one sitting in the front. They have no idea. Two halves of one soul walking by each other so many times, not knowing that one day, I'm going to find the one that's going to complete me. The one that's my better half. My only half. And at that moment, Hashem decides, here is the moment in time. Not a second before, nor a second later. Hashem brings these two halves of one magnificent soul together. And at that moment, you meet the person and something happens. It's like something magical. It's like you look at the person and you say, don't. Don't I know you from somewhere? Haven't we met before? It's like, I met you for five minutes, but it's like I know you for for ages. And in truth, you do. You know this person for ages. You started with this person in the cosmos as one of one magnificent whole. And then you were split in Shamaim and then brought back down to this world to refind each other. Ladies and gentlemen, please take one word tonight from me. Hashem did not put you and your husband together. Hashem put you and your husband back together. And once you know that, you got the mafteach, the master key to life, to it all. Because then there's never a question of, hey, wait, are we meant Says the Arizal, that's why it's called Zivuk Sheni. In Shamayim, when you started out as the original soul before God cracked it in half, that was the Zivug Rishon. But then he cracked it in two pieces and sent one half down to one side of town, the other half down to the other side of town. And now these two halves have to come back and reunite for the second time. Hence the term Zivug Sheni. Or in English, we would call that round two. Don't I know you from somewhere? Haven't we met before? And the answer is yes, we have. And it's a pleasure to find you and meet you again. 
Hashem puts husband and wife back together. And now they're ready for life. And that is why we're mar- our marriage is compared to Kriyat Yam Suf. Because when Hashem split the sea, He demonstrated what He did in heaven to our soul, and then He put them back together. And that is the real lesson of Kriyat Yam Suf in marriage. And if you believe that, you'll never have a question about the person that Hashem allowed you to be reunited with and to refine, to spend a lifetime on a mission with two halves of a magnificent soul. Just as the sea split and went back to being one body of an ocean, our nishamot were split and we come back to be one body, one marriage, one soul.